I hate saying I quit because I think we all know I'm not quitting. But um, I lost my passion or I'm depressed or I'm sick. I, I don't know what it is. And I just everyone's boring to me. Like this whole thing is boring to me. I don't I don't care about this. And I need to care about it if I'm going to try to convince you to care about what I'm reporting. If you feel like I'm letting you down, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm almost sure I will, I will be back. I just don't know when that'll be. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the one and only Keemstar. How's it going, Keem? Um, it's going well. It's going well. Awesome, dude. Awesome. So, essentially, I just wanted to have you on today because there are a lot of questions right now, uh, you know, circling the community about drama alerts, baited, and uh, your future on YouTube in general uh, in the year of 2017. So, um, just to get things started, man, how was your vacation? Did you have a good time in, uh, in LA and everything? Uh, it was awesome. It was actually really, really good. That's good. Good, man that's good so yeah i mean other than that i think we should just jump right into the uh the big question the one that i'm definitely the most uh interested in and that is the future of drama alert uh kind of what your game plan is if you're wanting to bring in a new host if you're going to you know continue hosting yourself or uh just whatever man i mean what's your game plan for this um well i needed a break i needed a break i, I don't think really uh viewers understand the daily grind of running a news show on uh youtube you know uh sharp sharp tk he covered for me and he got uh a lot of good praise on the drumler channel and when i spoke to him privately he said man i got a newfound respect for uh the people that do these videos because it's a lot of work and i think you know that right it's yeah. not it's not something um as easy as the viewers see oh you're just reading tweets oh it's so much more than that it is so much more than that and it is uh it, it's hours and hours and hours every single day you don't get a day off it's not like you, you a normal job where you work uh, Monday through Friday and have the weekends off like you you work every day so um after doing this for such a long time you know I I uh, I think I, I've just got frustrated and uh, stopped really caring about what was going on because you start seeing patterns and it starts becoming uh you know boring when the news shouldn't be boring it should be exciting there should be you know new information that that you're working and it should be uh it should be entertaining and exciting. And it, and it just stopped becoming that for me because of the, the daily grind. So I needed a break. Uh, I took a week off and now like I feel like I'm re-inspired to get back into it. But who knows? Maybe I'll want to take another break a, a month from now or a week from now. I, I don't know. But I also have a lot of other things going on. I, I have the, the Bait It podcast. I am right now actively working to uh, launch a brand new eSport out of uh, nothing in the game of Rock. Um, I got my businesses. I have to stream. Uh, I got to deal with streaming, so I got to stream, you know, 10 hours a week and, and make sure that I have decent stream numbers. So I have a full plate and I feel like uh, Drum Alert has sucked so much time um, from my from my weekly schedule that uh, I just hit some type of breaking point where uh, I, I needed to get away. Now, what I was planning on doing is maybe take the weekends off and have sharp cover for me um, on the weekends. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, me and him talked privately and uh, I feel like I'm just going to go back to work full time on drum alert. And uh, when I do take off, because uh, in March I have to leave um, for about a week, I'm going down to Georgia for this, the very first Rust LAN event, which I'm really excited about. Uh, Sharp's going to cover for me then or, or you or whoever, I, you know, however <laughs> it can be worked out. And uh, yeah, like I, I feel like. Like I'm just going to actively in 2017 try to do as much stuff outside of Drumler as I possible possibly can and I feel confident now with having you know the tie blue and the sharp TK and a few others that can cover for me that I'm able to do that and that's what makes blue that's what makes this thing great right <laughs> it's because it really is a community right. it really is a goddamn community you know um 
Well, I was shocked when I took off and I said, I don't know who's going to cover for me. I know you, you're really busy with school and stuff. And you're like, I don't know when all these people came forward and, and wanted to cover for me. Now, granted, during that week, I lost some subscribers and the views weren't really that great. But still, people covered for me. And I think that's that's awesome. Of course. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, seeing a different person host every single night was crazy entertaining because, you know, no matter if they did really well or really shitty it was still going to be entertaining no matter what, right? I mean, obviously, a little bit of a bump in the road with Celestia Vega. Uh, she did her best. I thought it was entertaining nonetheless. Um, but with Sharp, it's like, he's funny. He connects well with the audience. And that, I mean, on that alone, <laughs> that's something to run with, right? Because I know how hard it is to uh, connect with the audience uh, just in general. But yeah. Sharp has this, Sharp had this frequency that I could never hit. He's very calm. <laughs> he, excuse me. He's very Sorry. calm. I just woke up. He's very calm and collected it and like he he's hit this sharp hit this like chill factor that i could never hit like i'm not on that frequency i could never hit the frequency that he hit right. um and it was good because i i, I found myself just kind of relaxing while yeah. listening to him now when i watch keemstar and yes i could you know put myself at third person and sit back and watch myself as a viewer i'm seeing this fucking crazy man fucking get yelling and screaming and, you know what i mean like right. so that also keeps my my uh my attention or whatnot but it, they're two completely different styles and i think both uh both are really good right of course yeah um just in general i mean going off of that question uh of course the other project you've got going on the baited podcast uh is that going to be uh, a big thing for you in 2017 are you uh same hosts everything like that any changes that you can talk about right now i think so you know when i was in la me uh me andy and chad we kind of really bonded because we met in real life and uh we hung out we got drunk together we got high together we uh we chilled together and we did an in real life podcast at one of the dopest places ever although i can't say the name because it right. doesn't even have a name um but we we were at a secret location a very uh let's just say like some big hollywood stars uh roll through this place right mm -hmm. and um it was dope. It was dope. I don't know if the cast was good. I don't know because we were drinking because uh, I don't really remember that well of what we even said. It could have been a complete shit. But with Baited, Baited, I, I don't think to me is really about, you know, uh, are we getting this many views or are we getting, you know, uh, this much money? I think Baited is more of a just a fun project um that that is uh to me in many ways therapy right mm -hmm. i'm sitting here on drama alert and i'm like so-and-so did that so-and-so did that i i don't have a chance really other than uh, twitter videos <laughs> right. to, to really get my opinion out and, and to really talk a, in length on on matters and i think beta has allowed me to do that um now a lot of people said with this uh with the new cast here with andy and chad that we lack chemistry well, th that's part of the reason why I want to go out to L.A. and hang out with the boys is uh, I want to, uh, you know, link up and get to know each other a little bit more. And I think we accomplished that in L.A. So I think uh, Beta Podcast is, is only going to get better. Of course. Now, Keem, I've uh, I mean, I've seen some hinting at it uh, with Clown. Is there anything there? Maybe a comeback at some point? You're not too sure yet? I mean, uh, me and Clown have been uh, talking uh, privately behind the scenes. Um, at one point, I thought maybe uh, Clown was going to come back and we were going to have to move people around. Mm -hmm. um, but after this weekend, I feel pretty confident that, um, you know, the, the current uh, cast of Beta will stay intact for a while. I mean, if, if we have to get rid of one person and bring Clown back, uh, I'm sorry, Chad, you have to go. <laughs> Oh, poor Chad. Damn. <laughs> no, Jesus. I'm just joking. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me and Clown, we might work on something separate. I don't know. But um, as far as Baited, um, I'm pretty set in stone with uh, Andy and Chad at the moment. And, you know, I, I can't foresee the future. But, um, you know, I, I feel like these guys, um, these guys have been good to me. And these guys have respected me. And I don't want to do anything shady towards them. 
them. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, you get people telling you there's not much chemistry there. And I mean, I personally, I feel like there is chemistry in the fact that like, I mean, there there is banter. There's going back and forth. There is arguing. I mean, that's what for me made the beta podcast, you know, really entertaining in the first place. You know, I couldn't wait for another episode to come out. Obviously, you know, it sucks uh, the way that it happened and everything uh, with, you know, the original cast, um, which everybody loved. It was it was awesome. But um, again, I mean, I think it's I wouldn't say just as good, but I think it's still, you know, a pretty awesome podcast nonetheless. Well, I mean, you got to understand the reason why the podcast is so good is because me and Clown have uh, wild, wild uh, different opinions. I mean, we're completely two different people and we don't see the same in anything pretty much except for maybe FuseyTube. Actually, I want to give FuseyTube a second chance. Clown (laughs) still hates his fucking guts. Um, But so we don't agree on anything. So because we don't agree on anything, it made a great show. But Also, when there is an issue like this where, you know, we have broken up, us coming back together and us agreeing on the terms that we come back together, one of us has to eat crow. And I don't think I'm willing to eat crow because I don't feel like I've done anything wrong. And Clown feels like he hasn't done anything wrong. And Clown feels like I've done something horrible to him and I feel like Clown has done something horrible to me. So when you have those both opinions on both sides, there is no fucking middle ground. There's no middle ground. And the people that get screwed over are you, the viewers. And that's what sucks. That's what sucks. So I'm willing to eat some crow so the viewers can have their entertainment again. But the question is, is Clown willing to eat crow so the viewers can get their entertainment? And the answer is no. Clown is a (laughs) selfish piece of shit. Fuck you, Colossal is crazy. Literally go tweet at him that he's a fucking loser. God damn. Okay. Uh, I love you. I love you, Claude. <laughs> uh, all right. So, yeah, like you said, I mean, as far as 2017 goes, you have, you know, a lot of projects in the work, um, you know, whether it's with Rust and everything like that. Again, I've seen you on Twitter saying, you know, you would, if Drama Alert wasn't still, if you weren't still on Drama Alert, you would start a Rust channel. I know you play that game all the fucking time. Uh, yeah. So, you know, being involved in something like that, I can see that definitely being uh, something that you can, you know, if, you know, as far as Drama Alert goes, whether you enjoy it or not, you do it. Uh, to entertain the audience, but with Rust, I feel like you can actually enjoy it while you do it, right? Um, so Yeah, well, the thing is, I enjoy Drum Alert, too, but, like, when I get to a point where I don't enjoy it, that's when I just leave, you yeah, know? It gets repetitive. So, um, I guess just to wrap this up, I mean, this is the, the final question I've kind of been wondering. It doesn't really relate a lot to the other ones we've had here, but uh, just in the sense of, of, of wrapping up 2016 and the fucking crazy, dramatic year that it was, great and leafy. Where's that relationship at right now? Is it is it anywhere near reparable? Or, I mean, are you just continuing down the road of, you know, fuck them and that's it? I mean, we, um, <clears throat> the three of us have talked privately, I, I don't know, maybe 10 times over the last, like, month. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, we're we're friendly with each other, but, I mean, there's, there's always little jabs, like, you know, about them backstabbing me and stuff. Like, I feel like... I feel like, you know, I I was friends with Leafy and Gray because I actually liked them. All right. Right. So uh, it's pretty easy for me to uh, be able to sit in Skype calls and chat it up with them and be friendly again. Um, It's just, you know, now I know that these motherfucking scumbags could stab you in the back at any moment. So, uh, yeah, Gray, Leafy, I love you, but you're still cunts. So go (laughs) fuck yourselves. There you go. Yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, I mean, I feel like we cleared up a lot of, uh, of just looming questions that we've had ever since your break uh, and just in general. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I want to thank you for coming on. Uh, and I feel like this this really helped a lot of the viewers that were wondering this kind of shit. So, hey, man, thanks for having me on, dude. All right, you sexy, sexy people. I do hope you enjoyed this interview with my YouTube father himself, Keemstar. If you do want to see more interviews just like this with your favorite content creators, hit that subscribe button. I want to do a lot more of these throughout the year of 2017. And of course, uh, let me know who you want to see next down in the comment section below. And I'll, uh, I'll see you sexy, sexy motherfuckers in the next one. Hit me up on Tinder and uh, kill me. All right, see you later.